Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical, and I'm your host, John. This is Lesson 2 of 12, and is the second of three lessons on solving for watts using amps and ohms. Specifically, amps squared multiplied by ohms renders wattage. This formula is particularly good for testing heaters or other high resistance devices. For this lesson, we are going to look at an inline heater that is a standard item for hot tubs or jacuzzis. Looking at the diagram, you can see the feed wires, the electrodes, and the heating tube with the heating element inside. With the power on or energized, use your amp probe to test for amps and add the amperage of the two feed wires to arrive at actual amperage. Next, shut the power off. De-energize the unit and use your amp probe on the tips of the electrodes to test for resistance or ohms. Now, just plug your numbers into the equation and you will get a real-time wattage reading. Let's look at this from a real-time perspective. Most new hot tubs are now manufactured with a 4500 watt heater. Typical readings for a healthy heater will be 18.75 amps with 12.8 ohms of resistance. You will find that gives us 4500 watts of power. Typically, you will already know what the heater is rated for and you're testing for a drop in voltage. A drop of 3% or less means your heater is probably okay. Any deviation that exceeds 5% drop in wattage indicates a failure of the heater or one that is about to fail. One test you can perform that will check for a compromised heater to ground is to test for continuity between any heating electrode and ground. Continuity indicates a failure in the heating element and also a hazard to human life. That concludes the second of three wattage formulas in the series. Thanks for watching and have a great day.